Hello everyone, it's another Wisdom Wednesday and I trust you're doing well today. Today we look at the topic defense mechanism. Let's get right into it. Defense mechanisms are behaviors people use to separate themselves from unpleasant events, actions, or thoughts. These psychological strategies may help people put distance be between themselves and threats or unwanted feelings, such as hurt or shame. The idea of defense mechanism comes from psychoanalytic psycho theory, a psychological perspective of personality that sees personality as the interaction between three components, ig, ego, and superego. First proposed by Sigmund Freud, this theory has evolved over time and content that behavior like defense mechanism are not under a person's conscious control. In fact, most people do them without realizing the strategy they are using. Defense mechanism are a normal, natural part of psychological development. Identifying which type you, your loved one, even your co-workers use can help you in future conversations or encounters. It was yesterday, I think, I was asking the questions on, question on my social media page. Uh, how do you deal with rejection? As I was thinking, because for me, I like to, to think, and even these videos, I hope that they will help us to become better individuals because uh, I, stri I, I, I strive and I thrive to become a better me every day. And um, I think uh, that's what I want to help people to do uh, as a counselor, as a motivational speaker, and as a life coach, to let people know that we were all born in different situations. We were socializing in different situations. We did not ask uh, we did not have the choice to choose at how we wanted to be socialized or to be nurtured or natured. It was just given to us. But we recognize that we are now in the information age and information is now at the, our fingertips. Uh, things have changed. Knowledge is now power. And um, we want to empower ourselves and so that we can we can function in society that we can impart these knowledge to our children and to persons around us so that we can become better uh the best version of me or of you so as as we read and we understand that defense mechanism is a natural response of the body uh uh, the, the, the issue of rejection. How do you deal with rejection? And it's a natural uh, reaction when one feels rejected without even thinking your body respond to such an event. Uh, for me, I think if I feel rejected, I think I use avoidance. So if I'm in a circle or an environment and I feel that I'm not needed or not valued or rejected, I think I, for me, I, I just go. I, I avoid that situation. So for other persons, they might, I ask and... Um, one person said that they cry and then they pray. Another person said that they use avoidance. So they avoid the situation or the environment until it uh, cools off. For me, I've always said that even for me using avoidance, it might not be the best way because it's not dealt with. Uh, and um, it may seem like you're running away from the situation. But as we read and we understand based on what uh, the theorist Sigmund Freud said, it's, it's a natural thing. It's, it is done unconscious. So you have some persons who their defense mechanism is to, to fuss and to be rude and to, 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 to get loud and to, to curse. So whenever they're, they're placed in a situation where they feel threatened, they use their mouth and defend themselves. Uh, for some, 
uh, they might just uh, ignore or shy away. And I have found even for myself that I have used avoidance a lot. Uh, I, I prefer to avoid the situation and then when it is cooled or it is calmed, if it is that the other person that is involved can... Um, and I think probably we are going over in, in conflict because I guess um, in conflict too, our defense mechanism comes out because that's where we feel threatened. If we're having a conflicting situation and we're feeling threatened, then we are, our defense mechanism will come out naturally. So if you're an aggressor, you're a fighter, then you're going to react that way naturally. And um, for some persons, they can't control themselves. It, it, it happens unconsciously. But later on in today, we'll understand that even though it is natural, we can also help ourselves to become better and um, to respond. Some persons are spur of the moment people. They, they are impulsive. They just react. They don't think before they, they, they react. They just uh, there's just a situation and they just react, which is not normally or necessarily the best way. So we want to help each other to become better uh, individuals and to be become the best us. All right. So we're going to look at some different mechanism, about five of them, the most, uh, the most common ones. So dozens of different me different mechanism have been identified. Some are used more commonly than others. In most cases, these psychological responses are not under a person's conscious control. That means you don't decide what you do when and when you do it. Here are a few common ones. The first one is denial. Denial is one of the most common defense mechanism. It occurs when you refuse to accept reality or facts. You block external event or circumstances from your mind so that you don't have to deal with the emotional impact. In other words, you avoid the painful feeling or event. This defense mechanism is one of the most widely known. The phrase, they are in denial. It is, is widely used. It's commonly used. Uh, it is understand or understood to mean a person is avoiding reality despite what may be the obvious, uh, may be obvious to other people. And we see a lot of persons using uh, denial. Even in, in grief or in death, a uh, person's um, natural response or one of the first phase is denial. Because you're feeling, the, the, to avoid the, the feeling of hurt and the pain, you say, oh, it, it cannot be real. It must, it, it is not real. So if I tell myself that it is not real, then it will save me the, 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 the pain. It will save me the earth, the hurt. So this is one of the, the most common uh, defense mechanism. The next one is repression. Unsavory thoughts, painful memories, or irrational beliefs can upset you. Instead of facing them, you may unconsciously choose to hide them in hopes of forgetting about them entirely. That does not mean, however, that the memories di di disappear entirely. They may influence behavior and they may impact future relationships. You you just may not realize the impact this defense mechanism is having. And I stated that. Uh, probably I use that too to, to, to avoid, um, from, instead of facing them, I try to tell my, to, not to deal with it. And it is not necessarily the best way to, 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 to deal with stuff because it might come back to haunt you because it was not dealt with sometimes. So that's another thing to deal with that when it comes back. Uh, but it is easier to do. Uh, it is easier to do, especially children who have been in traumatic situations, uh, growing up in traumatic situations. I think they use this a lot because even as a counselor, I've seen this a lot uh, where children uses it to, to forget about uh, uh, situations. And then what it does, it, 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 it seems like it trains your mind. So uh, you find out that individuals who use this a lot might become or seem cold 
because they 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 use repression as a as a as a as a defense mechanism to repress to hide their feelings to hide their true feelings and because you're constantly doing that it, it it becomes the natural or the norm not to express your feelings and because you have not been expressing your feelings that can lead to another thing because uh, repressing of feelings and emotions causes anxiety and panic attack so you find that a lot of persons uh use this where they repress their their feelings and um they develop anxiety attack because uh all of those battled emotions and feelings are no under now are not under control and i've seen it i've seen it so another one is projection some thoughts or feelings you have about another person may make you feel uncomfortable if you project those feelings you are misattributing to them if you project those feelings you are misattributing them to another person. So for example, you may dislike your new co co-worker, but instead of accepting that, you choose to tell yourself that they dislike you. So you see in their actions the things you wish you could do or say. The next one, displacement. You direct strong emotions and frustration towards a person or object that doesn't feel threatening. This allows you to satisfy an impulse to reaction, but you don't risk the significant consequences. A good example of this defense mechanism is getting angry at your child or spouse because you had a bad day at work. Neither of these people is a target of your strong emotions, but reacting to them is likely less problematic than reacting to your boss. This is another popular one. We have seen it. Persons are stressed. Persons are upset about something. And because you can't, you can't say to the person that is causing the stress, you take it out on somebody else. We see this a lot. The next one we're going to look at is regression. Some people who feel threatened or anxious may unconsciously escape to another a earlier stage of development. This type of defense mechanism may be obvious in young children. If they experience trauma or lust, they might suddenly act as if they are younger again. They may even be beginning to or begin to wet bed again or suck their thumb. So it is, this is also a cue or a clue if a child has experienced a trauma and the child is, has regressed, the child, uh, sometimes trauma or a change of environment or something new, you can realize that the child is a child's way of dealing with the situation. Uh, <coughs> sorry. It's a child's way of dealing with the situation and you can realize that the child might be uneasy about something if the child start wet in bed or the child start sucking the thumb or the child start behaving as though they are younger regressing to an earlier stage adults regress too adults who are struggling to cope with events or behaviors may return to sleeping with a cherished stuffed, stuffed toy overeating food they find comforting or begin chain smoking or chewing on pencils or pen they may also avoid everyday activities because they feel overwhelming. So adults do it too. Uh, you're feeling stress, something that cannot be dealt with, something traumatic. They, you eat, you, people smoke, people do other things to try to deal with it. So defense mechanism can be viewed as a type of self-deception. You may be using them to hide emotion, emotional responses that you don't want to deal with from yourself. However, it's done mostly on an unconscious level. You're not always aware of the way your mind or your ego will respond. That doesn't mean, however, that you can't modify or change the behavior, as we, say, as we said earlier. Uh, indeed, you can transform 
unhealthy defense mechanism into ones that are more sustainable. These techniques could help. One, find accountability. Find friends and family members that can help you recognize the mechanism that you use. Drawing attention to your self-deception. They can help you identify the moment you unconsci unconsciously make an unhealthy choice that allow you to, to then decide in the unconscious state what you are really doing. So if it is that your defense mechanism is unhealthy, as the one we say that persons uh, uh, might uh, lash, people might uh, blame other people, and you realize that this is how you constantly deal with uh, situation, this is your constant defense mechanism, you can have persons help you to, to, to change that. Because if it is that, uh, yes, it's a form of, it can be, as it said, de deception. So you, you hide what is and allowing it to seem as what it, it's, it is not. But if it is that your defense mechanism is constantly affecting people, uh, I guess it's, it's, it's a cue that it, you, you have to try and change that situation.